Ooh, what's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War Let's Play as Poland. And in this episode, um, really this is the culmination of our effort to try and box in the Austrian Empire uh, through the capture of Poland. They won't try and take Patras. We may end up fighting Venice at some point to secure the rest of the uh, Greek peninsula. Um, but for now, if we take Athens, that's kind of limited where the Austrian Empire can expand. Uh, they do have an army coming in to reinforce them from this port, but I don't think it's going to be enough to save them. So without further ado, let's crack on. Uh, we are probably going to want to advance quite aggressively into the force, into the garrison force, knock them out as rapidly as we can so we can then redeploy to face the reinforcements entering the field. I think that's the plan. And then on the campaign map, uh, it's more about do we want to continue fighting the Ottomans or do we want to potentially start building up our, tr our um, strength inside our empire. I think right now there's a lot of Austrian troops hanging around. Um, okay, so it's a bit easy. Let's drop my guns on the right. And then when it comes to my infantry... As long as they're not com very depleted. Bearing in mind, I've been on vacation for a few weeks. Oh, holiday. Ho I'm, I'm British, I go on holidays. Um, I've been on holiday for a few weeks, so I expect this battle to be quite a bit of a bloodbath. So let's cluster together a few of these small units on the right. Actually, mix my skirmishes in here as well. Okay, got my lights and skirmish cavalry. And my lights, light cavalry, my lances on the left. Uh, on the right, rather, dragoons on the left. Uh, general in the centre. So they have mortars up front. Okay, so the enemy, they're coming in directly behind the, the actual um, garrison, which isn't bad. We just want to basically just advance everybody up as fast as we can. Get my pikes maybe up on the right as well. Mortars opening up. So they do have um, enemy skirmishers in here somewhere. And actually they are... Yeah, the enemy skirmishers are somewhere on the field. We're not going to let that... Uh, let that um, distract us. I mean, they're probably going to be around here somewhere anyway. Then we're going to bring up our general. So, my artillery is trying to focus on the Islamic swordsmen. Because they are the scariest units. The scariest unit that we can actually see at the moment. So we're going to make the mortars retreat fairly soon. Yet yeah, they are within musket range, so the shots going to start. The good thing they're not slamming home against the eastern garrison. Yeah, they don't. Want that. They don't want that at all. Okay, we have exposed some more of their. Some of the skirmishes. Let's get you guys up onto this high ground. And the cavalry up here as well. General's bodyguards trying to flank around. I think I'm pretty sure that's got to be the mortar crew. Yes, that is the howitzer crew. It's, just, it's dead. Awesome. Okay. instead let's push up really aggressively anchor ourselves up against the rock cavalry form square we can't really worry about the enemy cavalry for now push forward get this infantry out of square get them involved into that action get the infantry try and storm up We're running right into the face of the skirmishes, but that's okay. I just want to get my guns firing. Uh, artillery just start bombarding 
the enemy here. You guys. Walking is no longer an option. Start running. So we've managed to get one of the Serena units to route. But you may have to actually land. Stand a bit short to blast those skirmishes out. Bring my cavalry in. The bear. Bashy bazooks. Mm. They're quite soft. Worst comes to the worst, we can commit them. Okay, um, Hussars. Go after the enemy cavalry. Lance is running. Big enemy collapse in the center. Massed musket musketry. Help. Advance the line up. Switch up my artillery to start engaging some of these other units. Although that's a lot of, a lot of bizarre. Lancers try hit this is really unit. Bashi bazooks are broken. My lancers are now being picked upon. Basically, they're a bit screwed for the time being, unless we can provide some infantry to support them. Lancers get out of there. Gunners probably want to focus on those big juicy infantry units. Lancers try to go for the full artillery. Cavalry run back rapidly as you're being charged by emissaries. The Lancers go in, attack that 12 pounder unit, and hopefully push onto the Azar, but the Azar might knock them out. Line infantry get up here. Dragoons get up here. Yeah, they, they broke under the Azar fire, which is fair enough. Artillery needs to concentrate on this sector. And to be honest, cavalry get in there. They're skirmishes. In which case, to redirect the artillery fire. The enemy flank is vulnerable. The Sars go after the Azar. They're putting volleys and skirmish fire into these Janissaries. They might not make it. No, they didn't make it. So this charge is going to go off pretty nicely. Good old Polish Hussars. They're shattered. You go after Janissaries. But I think they have just shattered as well. Push my flanking troops up. You push on into that unit of Azar. I think that might be the last unit left. Get all my guns to focus on that unit of Israeli. Excellent. They're shattered. They're firing at my cavalry. Try getting my cavalry out of there. Try getting my general over here as well. Try to pick on some of the enemy units. Get my hussars over here. Um, we're going to continue just because the enemy do have an actual army in re as a reinforcing force. So I think you want to go for the Israeli first. The garrison don't have any Israeli in there at all. They're all the skirmishes. So a good chunk of these skirmishes will die anyway. So let's get this going. I think everyone's going to focus on this lone one unit of Israeli. We're so close to the edge of the map. There's no point going after too many of them. Too many different units, rather. Like I said, most, a lot of these Azars should probably die from the city falling. So I don't be bothered about maximising my kills on them but still the city has fallen it now belongs to our glorious empire we now have a very strong city at the southern edge of this empire 
nice. Okay, so let's put skirmishers into the port to protect it. Make sure everybody is well. They're all they are all replenishing already. Great. Okay, let's rebuild. Maybe not the barracks, but let's rebuild the magistrate and the school of call calligraphers. Hey, we can re reinforce the barracks. Awesome. Then let's try to use our assass agent to ass assassinate the general. Nope, missed him. Okay. Do you have this enemy force here? So ideally, hey Ottomans. Nope. I was hoping to get peace and trade, but they're not going to let us get that yet. Um, I would like. Well, we've got a lot of things we need to spend money on. Let's reinforce or replenish that um, vineyard. Let's probably drop another line unit in Istanbul. Then. I think that's everything we want to do, but we've got a lot of things to spend money on. Oh, we are close. Yes. Very close to getting metal roads. So that's another um, like faction-wide infrastructure upgrade program. But that's okay. So let's see what the rest of the world can do. You can soon see that Austria actually has quite a large amount of conventional forces kind of running around near my empire so i do want to improve my strength spain's captured gibraltar spain are chasing down the ottoman fleet which is great for us yeah i think we, i think we're in quite a good position right now we don't necessarily want to uh well we could we could keep attacking the ottomans that's not a problem but i'd like to try and do some exploring overseas Oh, those Ottomans wandered too close to that Austrian army, and Austria did the, the damn decent thing and took them out for us. Okay, I might have to go help out Colin right now, because that one Swedish unit is just keeping their empire down. <laughs> I think Colin, when you get into it, they're usually, they're usually reasonably strong. They at least build a lot of ships, they sometimes build a bit of an army. Peace with the Barbary State. Why not? 15,000. And we've got measuring tools. Okay. Let's get a couple of mercenaries. They're going to go up to Yogava and help deal with... Well, I suppose they are light cavalry. I can probably just build. Two units of cavalry to deal with them. New town emerges. The Rumelia. Awesome, we're going to get a church school, start converting this region even faster to Protestantism. We can't tax them yet. So Thessaloniki, let's get a light galley for you. Let's get a light galley for Piraeus. Awesome. Antigua, got basic roads, time for cobbled roads. Lots of max upgrades are done for the government from the government side. Um, right. So what do we need? Okay, so we've got metal roads. So let's start a bit of a road building program. Let's probably push it down towards my. I mean, you you can you don't necessarily have to do them like all connected. You can just say right. Back to what are my fastest growing regions. Let's boost those. I'm not so bothered about doing that. And we want to slowly... Stanislaw... Batopiak. We're going to slowly start to build up another army, I think. Ever so slowly. Actually, have more trade possibilities as well. So let's try to get some trade with the Italian states. Yep, you can have improved grenades. Denmark, you don't like us, but we're good trade buddies. Unfriendly with the Dutch. And Sweden just hate us. I suppose actually that's 
bearing in mind we're not actually at war with Sweden, this is a bit of a waste of money. Unless we declare war on them, which we could do, but there's no rush just yet. In which case, that gives us a bit of cash. So let's get another skirmish here just to make sure we get that them done. Let's get one unit of line infantry for there. It gives us 600 left. I don't think that's enough to do. Hey, there you go. We can get rid of or build a vineyard in Greece. Awesome. Okay, cool. We've got a peace treaty with the Barbary states. We've recruited some bits and bobs. Uh, one of our agents has got a bit better. Um, I'd like to try and push out of Antigua a bit more. Um, but I don't think we're going to be able to actually get out. I mean, Dragoons do get a garrison policing bonus, but yeah, we are trying to boost our army a little bit before pushing on to Trinidad and Tobago. So we'll wait a couple of turns, we'll get a few units of Dragoons and garrison the force. And then I think we may go to war with the Dutch to grab their territories as well. The Dutch are a bit hemmed in. I think that might be a good option. Yeah, I think we might be on for a few a few turns of um, economy, spending, and just a bit of growth. Because right now we don't really have a huge need for... Well, we don't need to find many battles on the front line for the time being. Our empire is very stretched out. Austrians are... Yeah, if they push out, we could be in trouble because <laughs> there's an awful lot of areas they can actually push against us. Not the Spanish fought the Ottomans and lost. They still Portugal still survived, which is pretty awesome. I mean, so we can attack... Okay, we need to move the army from Greece up to Istanbul, fortify that area. Potentially we could push in from there. Hey, nice. But yeah, we could push into Ankara from Istanbul. Just be a bit cautious and just keep fighting the enemy as and when. Looks like Sweden's coming for Denmark. Uh, nope, I don't want an alliance with you, Mughal Empire. You're in trouble, I can see, but... We have trade. That's my main support I can give. Not quite sure where you're going, Courland. Saxony is... Yeah, yeah, they've got their own school set up. They're getting their own research. Flintlock Cannon. Awesome, so you've gone on to... Seasoning, we are upgrading, or are we upgrading our Admiralty? No, let's get that going. New port emerges in Gdansk. Great, let's get a military shipyard. In which case, let's recruit a militia to stay inside. Yeah, militia upkeep 170, so definitely cheaper than provincial. Cav. Port blockade, Sevastopol. Yep. Just one Jebek. So we know that Heracleon does grow. 12 turns. That will become a military shipyard. I think that's probably the, the best option. Let's upgrade farmland. So can you guys leave? <gasps> you can. Ideal. Get you guys embarked. Just drop them off right next to the city. And then this light galley come back. So Athens, let's upgrade the government building. Let's upgrade the roads. Let's upgrade roads at Sophia. Stanislav. Okay, let's get two 12-pounders. Let's get a unit of marines and a unit of fusiliers. 1,400. That gets us a grand opera house is probably enough for Kiev we don't need any more 
Um, we don't really need we don't really need any more agents just yet. Although, actually, I do probably want one of you to keep going with the these technologies. So maybe. Hmm. I think I might want you to go after Spinning Mule, just because it's, it's, that's some cheaper industrial tech to research first. Krakow's going for explosive shells and the Great Arsenal, which is fine. You might actually go for joint stock companies. Just because we don't necessarily have an enormous... Um, <laughs> we don't necessarily have an enormous navy to boost yet. If I think everything's okay, my ministers are all good enough. Who's my, what's my richest region? Brandenburg is my most valuable region for the time being. Actually, they've still got a spare town I can upgrade. Awesome. Ukraine's up there, Konigsberg's up there. Yeah, they were. Sorry, Prussia. <laughs> Although sadly, Dresden's shrinking due to bankruptcy hmm. may end up having to um, subsidize their empire giving them a stand uh, just a standing order all oh, the french are fighting <gasps> the french have taken brussels if the french take amsterdam long term that might not be great shorter short to medium term that will be great although then we'd have to jump onto their territories in um, the French territories, or the, sorry, the Dutch territories in South America, because the French will move on them pretty rapidly as well. Nevertheless, things are going okay. So are you going to try anything, Ottomans? You're bolstering your blockade. Yeah, I think I do need to start building up a bit of a navy. Where are you going? Interesting. Actually, I think it, building that military port in Gdansk, I think that might be my first actual military shipyard I've got. You gonna go attack that lone Swedish ship? You are. Nice. I think the benefit of if the Dutch fall, we can take, we can um, attack Diana, take the port, build a church church school, and then start trying to spread Catholicism. Ooh, two new towns. First of all, uh, Viz Visma. Let's get a craft workshop going. Poltava and Ukraine. You can get a church school, and I believe the other ones in Crimea. You can also have a church school because I don't think any, either of you have any well not much <laughs> if there's any Catholicism not much yeah let's get you guys converting uh, 1300 upgrade your cobbled roads okay let's do a bit of a switcheroo Okay, we've got Military Academy at Warsaw, Great Parliament at Warsaw. Good, good, good. Keep uh, keep everything upgrading so we don't cap out our own technology. We want more turn till explosive shells, then build the Great Arsenal. So I guess you will hop on some of these military techs. Ooh, Polish Curiosier Guard. But yeah, I do want more more military production okay one more turn till you get your last unit of buccaneers then you'll sail on to Trinidad and Tobago let's upgrade the sugar warehouse your port is currently maxed out and what is this what I can actually research Koningsberg just needs has a lot of op option options for upgrading across the board 
Piraeus, let's get a commercial port. And let's get another commercial port for Thessaloniki. Let's send my priest into the belly of the beast. We still do have... Now we've got the church school, they will slowly, continuously upgrade... Uh, well, become Catholic. But if we can get you over here, unless they've got a... Madrasa? I don't think they do. Then we might want to start to turn the... Get the um, population of Ankara towards Catholicism right now. Which is pretty awesome. I think until we get the next, the highest level port, we're limited to fifth rates. In the... Uh, Black Sea, the Black Sea area. Let's bring you up here. Just keep trying to knock off that. What's that? Um, Ottoman agent. You, you've got a town growing in two turns. The population growth is superb. You can't recruit anything except for skirmishers, which we don't need. Cool. Yeah, lots of cranking through in turn phases right now, but we don't really... Yeah, we're getting some really good... Really good investments made. Especially with the metal roads. I mean, they will help the enemy, but they'll also help us re redeploy against the any enemy incursions. Sorry, so, sorry, sorry, Colin. We can't help. I mean, Russia could help. Whether they will or not is another question. Uh, still want an alliance? No. I would like to get involved in the trade schemes overseas, but I don't think we've got the capital we need right now to 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 do everything we want to do. You know, I've still got loads of stuff on my empire I can upgrade. I need more troops. So that's hoovering up our our budget for the time being. Explosive shells and like a good research institute, they've gone straight on to new model bayonet drill. So Warsaw, get the great arsenal. You've got cobbled roads. Let's just upgrade metal roads just because that'll they're out of sight, out of mind. If we do it now, they'll just be done. You probably don't need a coaching in now. Although Memel's about to pop as well. Let's get, get rid of the coaching in. I mean, it does mean that is where we get our mercenaries. Although, just Warsaw. Yeah, Warsaw has another town. We can upgrade that to a coaching in. Um, okay. Okay, right. So lots of yeah. So we've done metal roads. You're at full strength. You're at m minus ten. So start to chip away at recruiting grenadiers. We can untax them. Ultimately, they're not producing a huge amount of wealth. We can stand to not have it. Minus six. That will help. Okay, ten thousand. You still got dirt roads? No, you haven't. Okay, cool. Um, get metal roads because our arm, um, our um, empire is vast. <laughs> we have a lot of ground to cover. Okay, so you can get means national cavalry, lancer cavalry. Okay, right. It's got Trabant cavalry. Polish Pansurni Cavalry, Curacier National Cavalry. Ooh, okay, let's get a unit of National Cavalry. And because we can recruit something else, let's get Polish Hussar Guards. Awesome. Now we're talking. Okay, your Navy, <laughs> Navy guys just got even better. And our controller of works. Our, um, whoever this guy is. Yeah, my navy guy's got even better. I mean, our, our, our government. Oh, he's my head of my head of government. I got that. Control of works. So 
got cheaper cultural buildings and metalworking buildings, which is great. Okay, everyone's marching on. Yeah, the Austrians do concern me. I think I may want to build some forts. Where are you going? Are you saying bringing troops back to the back to the homeland? Looks like Austria. The Ottomans might be massing to come attack us. Or not, as the case may be. I mean if they give us an opportunity to push into this into their territory, then we will do that. The Marathans have split the Mughal Empire in two. Not much that can be done about that. I mean, I'm not. I'm not going to go to war with the Marathas to protect the Mughal Empire. No way, Jose. I'm just not. Not got the bandwidth to tell them out like that. Barbary States fleet has been destroyed. They're still up to no good. Spinning mule, they've gone straight on to flying shuttle, which is okay. So I think, in theory, once they've done this, they'll go straight on to... They kind of... The default is just to do this through the tech. Two new towns. Stettin in Brandenburg. I mean... I'm going to give you a craft workshop, just because you're one of the... You've got a lot of options for... Actually, you could get another town as well. Yeah, I'd be mad to not give you more industry. Let's upgrade one of your industrial buildings in Moldavia. Let's get you a church school. Just to start um, trying to offset this agent. New port emerges. Memo. Let's get you a trading port. Gdansk. As their shipyard, they've probably had it for a while, but I've forgot. Then let's recruit a light galley. Sail over to Memol. That'll add, a, add even more trade opportunities for us. 13 colonies, come on. Oh, for you. you don't even have plug bayonets. Some really basic tech got us that trade. That's pretty cool. Again, we're just unfriendly with the Dutch. Give you a canister shot. I'm not, there's, only, there's a limit to what I'm prepared to give you. But you're at war with a lot of people. United Provinces. You're hemmed in. And the Westphalia in France. They're all after you. Okay, some of our roads are popping off, which is great. Okay, keep getting roads. Let's find out. Okay, Crimea needs roads. Pretty sure everybody, well, almost everybody in Europe, I know Berlin doesn't have it. Konigsberg. Gdansk is more important to get roads. But Konigsberg is the wealthier region. Dragoons at the Leeward Islands, so I can take you guys. Excellent, they can move out. Get you men on board. Let's go and attack Trinidad and Tobago. Because we've had not very much action in this episode, let's attack. Jack Wright at Trinidad and Tobago. Let's secure more pirate colonies for a future, well, not future, the now existing Polish Empire, Polish colonies overseas, adding more sugar to our trade portfolios. Okay, good. 
good. Polish infantry form the core of this army. Guns sit at the back and open fire on targets of your choice. A militia and a buccaneer unit for each flank. Get my pikemen on the left flank and my lances will be on the right. General in the center. These pirate scum. Already, some of the units are wavering. Obviously, they've got their howitzers popping off shots, so we want to make sure we get up there rapidly. But their mortars popping off shots. Sorry, they're going for the pikemen, as is tradition. God, our buccaneers are pushing up. This unit of Buccaneers is going to get annihilated by our volleys. To be honest, a lot of their units are going to get annihilated by our volleys. Push the Buccaneers forward. My Lance is going for the third light foot. The Buccaneers are going to charge in and help. Their ent entire front has just collapsed. Just to their artillery that's in position now. Push up, take the ground. They will. A bunch of them are probably going to come back. Get my general up here. Push my buccaneers on into their line, I suppose. There we go. Some of them have already started to come back. Let my howards, yeah, just let my cavalry just maybe go after that while I can't citizenry. There we go, Buccaneers have got him. You men don't shoot. You men just bayonet charge the enemy infantry. 10th Regiment just. Doing some real damage. Um, yeah, we are gonna harass them. Just getting my generals some experience. Although it doesn't look like it's going to matter a huge amount because <laughs> they're so close to the other map. See if I can get my general general at third chevron. No, nope, bad luck. Um, ah, field artillery. And the people that are left, although it looks like they're, they're gonna. They, yeah, they, they might escape. We're advancing at speed. It's gonna be tight, but I think they are going to escape. Yeah, they, oh, yeah, for sure. Still. Plus one territory for Poland. Nice. Let's get rid of the shipyard. We don't need that. Let's repair the magistrate. We don't need to do that much replenishment. I mean, we don't have enough money, but we don't need much. Awesome. So then we next time we get some roads. And that'll be two sources of trade goods. Prestige rank sublime. Prospect. I mean, we actually, because we are a major faction, we do have prestige. Although we are still being outcompeted by Russia, but that should change soon. Our enlightenment is better than ever. We are the most enlightened nation in the world. Our economics is not quite so good. Russia's got a lot more military stuff. Okay, let's 
They then turn. And the first place is to hop back to the colonies. Ooh, fr France are picking up a colonial army. Which I think... Yeah, so many things to do. So many things. So by trying to convert the population of Ankara, hopefully we will start to cause a bit of unrest in their homeland and they might have to actually start sending keeping troops back at the city to garrison it oh, a trade with the with the Mughals has finally been cut by the Marathas bad for them bad for us no but I'm not going to help you Trade links may be re-established. See, if you bring those troops back to your homeland, Corland, you can clear out that Swedish unit and then start to develop your own economy. Take on the Barbary Lemmings. <laughs> okay, so... Build the trade port, build the governor's residence, upgrade the roads. Don't worry about the plantation yet. Upgrades ahoy, cool. Build a pike general. So I think all I want is to start to build fortifications in these areas. To start to, or just to be ready to kind of block off these routes for potential advance okay we have our cavalry to move our light galley over to memel upgrade a weaver's cottage building to a water cloth to a water power cloth mill but a steam pumped iron mine Oh yeah. We're going to start getting some good effects here because they've got no no religious buildings or unless they're building one in Kosari, which is possible. Or over at that town. Yeah, the presence of a college helps us here. So we have our cavalry. Okay, we could just build regular stuff here. Uh, which we don't well just build skirmishes which we don't really need i don't think 600 is enough to do anything except maybe upgrade a church school if we've got one but i don't think there is anything you can actually upgrade well we could build a church school at Königsberg, which probably better off just to use an agent if we get one Happiness has a couple of our ministers have both got mistresses. Okay, joint stock companies are about to develop. We've killed that uh, priest, which is great. I think we need to start. Oh, France is bringing. Oh. You. You. We are calling in our allies. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yes, France. Big mistake, bucko. So they might... Okay, they've landed. They're landing a full army off Antigua. But we can land our troops there as well. But this is it. Wow, it's on. That's, uh... I mean, that's really good because it gives us really good opportunities for expansion in the Americas. Because we've got... You know, all of we've got Louisiana. Actually, Louisiana. They don't, they, don't, they, they might not have joined joined the enemy, um, but we've still got good expansion opportunities for other French colonies, particularly in South America. We get the only spice production out of the. Ooh, well then you're gonna help. I'm not gonna call my allies in to help against this, or am I? Yes, our allies are strong. Britain has not joined us against Sweden. 
they're no longer our ally but the britain is at war with us against um against uh france that's the main one god france you've already blown this wide open but that's great because we were looking for future engagement opportunities i think we, it's almost now a strategic requirement to get peace with the ottomans so we can redeploy some of our troops away from that front It's broken. Boo, Britain. You let us down. We can at least move this army out. Yep. So, you men push up to this front. You can try and... You can collect some elite infantry on the way. We don't need any cavalry yet for this army. Although... Provincial cav break off into Moldavia. Probably could do with a written one. Uh, what? I need another gun. Get a howitzer unit. So as you're pushing up, you're doing good work. Push our agents up to Finland. We can start to try and attack the enemy up here. Memoir's grown into a commercial port. Let's build that. It's an almost a requirement, I think, now to boost our industry as much as we can. So if we're at friend... Okay, right. Now I think it's time we do trade with the Dutch and give them a bunch of tech. Because it's in our interest that the Dutch can hold off now. Spain and Portugal are at war. Assassinate our agent. Well, the enemy agent. That's good. Maybe drop you guys down into Athens to act as a garrison. 3,600. We definitely want to bring... I mean, you guys are technically depleted, but that's not entirely correct. So if I drop you off here... Well, let's see. Yeah, I thought as much. That's where it wants to drop you off. I think if I drop you off here... I can run you into Antigua. Oh no, we've been intercepted. Although that's quite a lot of chaff, actually. <laughs> but we should be okay. Okay. We are going to want to deploy our guns in the line and maximise our use of cavalry. We don't want our guns in the line so we can use canister shot to hold off the enemy. We don't want to be aggressive somewhat around the flanks with our pikes and buccaneers, but not too aggressive. And then our cavalry very much wants to be um, a firefighting force. So the enemy will advance into us because we've got the firepower advantage. Actually, let's deploy three units of line in the centre. That's going to be like a key fire well the most one of our most important firepower elements make sure the guns are spread out nicely so you're one flank you are another flank I might keep my buccaneers back to protect the guns because I really can't afford to lose them. Pike's going to be on one flank. My pikes and my general are going to be on one flank. Lancers are going to be on another. There we go. 
Okay, so even though we are attacking, notionally, we can stand to be a bit defensive. Sadly, yeah, there are trees in the way, so it's going to hamper some of our longer range engagements. Actually, do you even have... You don't even have bayonets. may bring my general over to this flank because this is this flank that we are a bit outnumbered on but we can break this core of enemy units especially if it looks like they are just gonna redeploy a whole bunch in front of our guns yeah we are we are we are the attackers but the enemy does not is not served by staying at range because <laughs> we've got two batteries of 12 pounders we're more than happy just to do really good work okay right I might bring my pikes over here as well hold this flank back some point you're going to switch to canister shot you can technically engage that unit don't necessarily want you to fourth regiment's going to start engaging the 42nd so then start blasting them with canister shot that's the core of the enemy in the center, that's the this is the enemy's center of gravity, so we're gonna keep pushing them back. It's gonna take a bit of time. These guys aren't gonna break quickly. Okay, let's try to commit some of my cavalry. This is always gonna be a bit risky. Because there's two there's a lot of no, you focus on the militia. See if we can knock out this militia unit. Wavering. If you can shatter them, that'd be super. If not, retreat. Buccaneers get over here. Militia charge those buccaneers. Pikemen get involved over here. So my general needs to run to get out of here. Lancers charge into the back of this. The back of this colonial militia block. No, don't shoot. I don't even want my general to go after their general, I just want my general to. Shattered, go for the okay, go for that unit shattered, shattered, shattered. Oh, awesome. I'm trying my general to come back. Okay, my lancers can break off the pursuit. Get back here. Militia, form your line. Get ready to do it all again. Anna's shot, 42nd Regiment.
Get my lances back over on the right. Commit my pikes into the fight. Okay, the buccaneers charge them off. Okay, you may go after that unit of buccaneers. Gunners, reman your guns. Okay, once these colonial militia have been kicked off of their defensive position by the buccaneers, now bring the general in. Is in Buccaneers, then artillery for this gun team. Everybody try pick off that enemy general. There we go, Buccaneers broken. Attack this unit of militia. I'm gonna just annihilate this unit of militia. Make sure guard mode's off. Let's pursue them when they break. Just keep killing them. Fucking ears. Oh, I've got a lot of enemy general staff units. Folks on killing their infantry now. Guard mode off. Pursue them. Yeah, don't worry about the enemy. General. Buccaneers have some buccaneers have come back, but my pikemen have something to say about that. Awesome. Gunners cease fire. No, don't cease fire. Any generals come back. My own buccaneers. Atlas is aloft. The tide has turned. There you go. Every time you click engage, a handful of them just stop to try to fight you. And then they get taken out. Enemy generals back here. Very well. Advance towards the final enemy position. Speed up time now. Bring back my my lands. Charge that unit of buccaneers. This unit of infantry will fall back. Excellent. Now my artillery is just doing it's working on the enemy general. Oh, they've broken. That unit's broken. Nice. You fool, France. You started a massive conflagration. For what? Gone. Excellent. You men, replenish. And let us seek reinforcements. Because now we have Martinique, which is ripe for the plucking. Uh, let's move a fifth rate back to um, Trinidad and Tobago. Martinique's ripe for the taking, as is Cayenne. As is. 
Newfoundland, as is Quebec, as is Fort Nashrack, and Montreal. The fools, they've really give, open, given us an in right now. Um, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Poland. Cheers everyone.